Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I am Experience Boyz, and we are back with the Black Turn Operation Barbarossa. And here we go, Army Group Center, as we begin our essential campaign. Oh, Army Group Center, this mission was painful. <laughs> All the first missions actually seem to be uh, the most difficult because the objectives are so far out and there is so much that just has to go right. Uh, but we're definitely going to get to that and we're going to show you how it's done. This mission is especially bad. So, from the start, let's just have a quick overview here. Uh, what we have is many, many supply sources, two of them on the road, uh, and these two here on the road, um, I should say, yeah, they, both of these, are going to um, really determine whether you win or not, <laughs> because once you get um, into these areas back here and back here, these supply sources just uh, cease to be useful. So supply is very, very important. Oh yeah, and the enemy, uh, they are fully supplied, there's no way to stop that, considering that's an objective, um, there's no way to uh, starve them out. Uh, if we look at now our, our objectives, they are plentiful, and they are really, really difficult to get. These back ones up here, no end of grief because if you, you don't have the exact number of forces you can take one but you can't take the other. So what do we have? We have uh, a turn two, a turn three, we have two turn threes and then we have two fours and a five. So it's not too um, too much there. So let's get to it. Begin with push your armor across the river and then destroy the units um, over here, you really need to uh, get your armor. All your tanks have to be over here uh, by this turn. I bring my horsemen across because I want to get the zone of control on my side. Next, I want to push my infantry. The infantry's effectiveness in this campaign is going to be to take here and to take here. Armor needs to push and it needs to be. All your armor units, especially with these double veterans, have to be on this side of the river. You need to use every armor bit you have to take this objective. There are certain places that your units actually have to be uh, in your first turn and in your second turn to be able to win. Uh, the only way to get this objective on time is that all your armored units are across the river here in turn one. In turn two, um, you're looking at having to have your armor units uh, around here because by turn three, you need your armor units up here. So we're going to bring our armor um, and our motorized um, SS motorized and German motorized units either on the river line or uh, across it. Over here we want to destroy as much as we can um, to bring our back units to the front and really using these German security I want to destroy them as the first unit to really um, through weaken up the enemy. From there I'm going to, I made a little mistake there not quick and far enough. So now I'm going to try to push as many units as I can across. I want my infantry as far up as I can because we need infantry alone to really take this. And for the point of supply, if supply comes through this, you have to have all this cleared out. So I'm going to build a bridge over here because I want my infantry in the second turn to be absolutely lined up on this shoreline. Uh, I will reorganize a unit because I want to fill up this unit and uh, fix any that I have. Over here it's important that you have two units here. If you don't, your supply source down here will be um, taken by this unit. So it's important you stack. Over here I'm bringing my units down from the back to the front and I'm really trying to clear out as much area here as I can and this is where a really important choice um, is made. You can't run your these um, German Panzer units and the motorized units, you can't put them all down this way. The only way to take this objective in time uh, is to come up through here. You will never make it through here because of the terrain, you have to come around the uh, north approach. So to do that, it's very important uh, in your first turn you get the units really far up. Um, I am going to bring some of them down here because I'll be able to push them in by turn 2 into this way. So in turn 2 I should definitely be lined up around here uh, in this area. But you need to push these units to the front, they can't be dwelling in the back. So the infantry needs to clear out the enemy and give you space um, to move up units as well. The more units that the, um, the enemy attempts to have 
go for the supply source and cross the river, the better it is for you because this can become a real cluster mess and you need to have these units sparsed um, and spaced. So this is brilliant because the infantry can engage and then they can move out. The in infantry sorry, have to move up, say, three turns uh, or even into the enemy's zone of control and lose all their movement points, then you lose the ability to move them back. You cannot disband them without penalty, therefore you really are... Um, stuck. Uh, it's important to note that yeah, these tanks here absolutely have to gun ho and they've got to be as far as they can. By turn two, your tanks have to be here or it's impossible. I repeat, it's impossible to get far enough to take this objective. So what we're going to do here is take this by turn two, but I don't want to waste um, any uh, uh, important units just taking it. Um, so I could have used this infantry unit. Um, I won't try to push as much as I can out. Uh, these units here aren't as useful, but definitely all your armor has to be across the river and you need to be pushing up your other armored units as quickly as you can. Uh, you didn't need, you really do need to use all your uh, movement points, um, convert and attack into movement points and push them up. Units will come down here to uh, also try to bottleneck you. Okay, over here I'm trying to push up as far as I can. I bring my units to the back to um, get rid of the enemy's zone control and then bring up my other infantry units forward. If I can get a free shot on the target, I'll definitely take it as well. Even if it would have cost me three unit parts, it was so worth it um, because I could really uh, damage this guy up. Okay, so from here I am trying to do as much damage as I can to really um, inflict. Even that was worth it because it suppressed him and I have these infantry units back here ready to try to capitalize. So I'm perfectly fine. Do keep your supply here safe because if they cross the river they'll cut you off. Um, cut you off there. So uh, it's quite important that you keep that uh, well guarded, especially in, after turn 3. You can't have any supply issues. So uh, we've done a really good job here. We're a nice close to the city. We have a lot of units up. We um, are quite aggressive. I have the numbers there so I'm going to start to try to pull other units down this way. Um, as you see over here, now I'm trying to advance, convert attack points to movement points, get rid of the enemy zone of patrol as well, so I'm going to try to bring units across the river to, um, to at least get rid of his influence. Also these units can be quite a pain because they can bottleneck you later on. So uh, I am trying to get rid of him. Remember this is turn 4, so by turn 3 I need to be looking at around here. It is worth clearing out these units if you can do that in turn 3 because you do not want to be cut off. If you lose supply here, go into your next turn, use up that one attack out of supply movement and then are blocked off, you can't attack and you need every number you can to dislodge this guy. So over here, um, I'm attacking what units I can, definitely bringing my infantry down into the south to meet up with my infantry units in the south. Um, and just trying to destroy these uh, units here. I do need an absolute clear path. I need my supply to run through um, these places here and through all this uh, by turn three that has to be cleared out. These units are uh, just out of supply but they need to be resupplied next turn. So I'm going to bring this motor right down here just to clear out this um, but the rest is definitely going this way. Motorized really doesn't play much of a valued part when you get to turn 4 because you just don't have the range and your units won't be in a good enough place to um, establish. Okay, the uh, units I lost I'm reinforcing. Oh, sorry, I'm reinforcing those units that weren't um, as strong with the uh, uh, those that we reorganized in turn 1. I did lose my supply point over here but I can get it back next turn though it's not really consequential. So uh, I will get two defensive lines come up, one over here and one over here and we need to annihilate those in the next turn. Um, because we do need a clear path here. The infantry are extremely capable of taking this objective on their own, uh, so I won't need to have to worry about any of those situations. And you do get this unit here in uh, step two uh, as reinforcements. So as you see, these units are out of supply. But not too bad. So I want to bring all my infantry over here to attack to get ready to attack this infantry. I will ultimately use some of my um, German motorized just to destroy this. Bringing my units to the back again to see if I can't just dig in, clear out some of this zone of control. Uh, it's very important that we really don't have to use our armor to engage this. Our armor has to be up here. At the same time, we need to destroy all these units so we're not cut off from supply. You can get your units over here in the next turn, but if they can't attack, it's completely useless. 
So as you see, I'm trying to push everything up as, as much as I can where I can. So my armor's trying to stream forward as much as I can. Now, if I've attacked him, that's great. I can move him up to the shoreline. And these guys here are going to be the hitters. These are going to be the heavy hitters. These are the ones um, who are going to win this. I moved this guy here and here because I didn't want them cutting him off by swinging around. Go over here. Um, you got to play this carefully. Um, and I definitely wanted that objective before I attacked anyone else so they couldn't retreat into the city. Um, but you need to clear out this. That road has to be gone because you need the supplier to travel up it. So, putting everything I have into attacking it. Okay, now I can move my infantry up, but ultimately my infantry from here is going to clear out this and then come down here. Which is going to be easy peasy. So as you see, I'm moving those in the south already. I don't want to waste time uh, when I have infantry up here. All these units will come down here and maybe some of them will have a chance to actually engage, but the units around here are sorry, are effectively useless. Okay. So infantry streaming down. Ultimately this unit here, um, which I left, I didn't put all my motorized up, I left one down here to attack. Um, I would suggest do put all your motorized up here though. Um, to help clear out this section and then in the next turn just bring them down. Like for example, um, as I clear out up here or not even bother about it. Um, I will use sorry, I'll use my infantry here just to engage these guys. Um, so I'll free up these guys to attack later. As you see, uh, as I pause this, I do have my supply line clear now. Um, but it is important to clear out these guys. Uh, my motorized only has seven steps and it's useless one two three four five six seven it can't attack or engage anything so these units are now going to be used to engage down here the real hero uh and champion of this mission is the tanks is the panzer units so um over here i couldn't completely destroy this but there's no way he can cut off my supply even if he goes here he won't or here he won't be able to uh completely dislodge me or cut off these guys. So I've effectively um, have them resupplied and now I can win. So I bring my units at the back to clear out any um, people who could take out my zone of control. As you see. And this is quite tense because you need things to go right. I got an overrun, now I absolutely need to clear out this. And it was very good because I could. Uh, over here I was able to attack and destroy that and then my motorized actually played a useful part because I converted attack points into movement points. Over here I can then have my tanks help engage uh, by removing out these areas of control um, that the enemy hold using my airstrikes on this target because he's a lot harder than this target over here. But just bring your units up from the back don't use your armor units at the front, don't waste attack turns on uh, attacking those units, attack from the rear. First, there we go, we got it keep the units in the city if you want to clear up ultimately now these units are locked on the other side of the map and can't do anything um, so I'm going to bring my units uh, that were over here and too far back to now engage this next target which is an easy win there's no chance of this unit even um, being remotely able to hold it if you're attacked with only infantry it might be considerably harder um, but I don't believe you can get all your motorized up far enough it is kind of funny because you have the numbers, but you just the distance is the pain. Um, so you certainly have to be very, very determined in what you're doing, and um, and very much I'm going to make this move no matter what the enemy does. Um, so you're not reacting to the enemy, but you're forcing them to react to you. So um, just to make sure, I'm going to bring my units to attack this one, and not going to do something silly and lose it up here because that would be a nightmare. But yeah, that is absolutely how it's done. Um, so, from the start, just to break it up, you bring your unit across. I tried experimenting with bringing this unit across, across an airstriking, but a tank on this side of the river is just as good. Um, it is very important, all your armoured units, all these German Panzer units, every single one of them, are on this side of the river. By turn two, all your German Panzer units have to be over here. Specifically, you need German armor in these hexagons. 
absolutely a must because in the turn after that your German units and your German armor has to be around these hexagons here if it's not you cannot make the distance to get to here uh, so you want to definitely stream up all your motorized and all your panzer units up this way you might want to take a motorized unit up this way to clear it out maybe it, it just you're gonna have to feel that one out yourself but definitely stream all your other units down um the infantry units once you've taken this down this way the other units will cross over here and sort of make their own way around here all your panzer units need to be on the actual extreme so you can probably put three or four of them over here and they'll push you out to this way by turn two by turn three they need to be looking at being over here uh, otherwise, if you bring them down here, turn one, or then maybe turn two, but then you're just going to get hit from the um, from the north flank, and I don't think it's going to be as easy to um, keep supply up in that turn four. You'll be cut off. Um, make sure these units are on the outskirts. So if your infantry come down, we've room for your um, your German motorized and German panzers. If you can't put them all over here, uh, infantry will take this. Infantry need to clear out the supply line. So turn three, you have a good supply for taking these. And uh, yeah, you can just feel it out then if you need to bring down German motor right down here. But always attack from the unit from the rear. So for example, over here, I brought this unit up. He had one, two, three. He attacked here. And then this could go one, two, and he could attack here. And then this unit, one, two, three, he could attack here. This unit, one, two, three, he could attack here. And then this unit, one, two, three, for example, could then attack this unit. Otherwise, if I move him here, his movement turns are all used up, he's in the enemy zone of control. This unit moves up, one, two, sorry, one, two, three, you can't engage this armor unit. And really it is about getting the most movement out of every single unit in this one. But anyway, that's, that's how it's done. This one took me so many restarts, it was absolutely painful. But it is absolutely doable, with no prestige use at all. So, uh, I hope you certainly enjoy this and you have happy hunting. I hope you gain some experience from watching this. And um, you can get your own brilliant victories on this map. Because it is certainly... <laughs> I stood up and shouted yay when I won this one. So, cheers mates and uh, have a good one.